so welcome back fellow Kasunes. Um, so I did a quick sketch basically. Um, so I'm sorry I did not get last week's video uploaded. I just was not feeling that very good at all. Um, just been, I guess, really tired. And uh, we've had some recent health scares in our family, so it's been a little hectic. So, yeah. So, I'm going to just basically do like a quick sketch with me video, and then I guess talk about what's, what's been, I guess, happening. So, I finally found out, I finally decided to get a 09 pencil, and I wanted to see if the lead was any thicker, and it is a lot thicker than the 07s. And the brand that I got is by Bix Velocity. Sorry guys, I'm a little tired. Um, one thing I really liked is how it came with a set of erasers and extra lead. Now, I can't find for like me any 06 lead pencils. I don't know if it's just maybe the store I'm not looking to, but I definitely need to try that out. Anyways, I am just really glad to be back with you guys and hope that you all have been doing good and that you all have been staying um, safe. I know that with a, um, sorry, John, I know that for a lot of people we've all been having our scares with this whole COVID stuff and I hope that you all are staying safe. Um, even though the mask, having mask has been uplifted in my state currently, we are still having that we still have to wear masks in some stores. And since I already deal with really bad allergies in the spring and summer, I still wear my mask because normally half the time I am already sneezing. And I'm already, so I would rather just be, you know, careful. And it is kind of annoying because if someone sees you sneezing or they see you clearing your throat, they immediately give you, you know, weird looks and stuff, and it's like, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I don't have it, it's just, my allergies are kicking my butt, I don't, and if any of you have the situation, um, I really do hate drawing in a part of the ear, because I feel like I can never get it realistic enough. Yeah, that's basically as close as I'm going to get to in here. And then, um, yeah, we went to Kroger yesterday to do some food shopping. And that was probably a bad idea because it was literally packed because it was the 4th of July. And I don't know if you've seen my Twitter, I post some of the stories. Um, the neighbors are having huge fireworks and I had to bring my pets in. My dogs were freaking out. I could not get them to calm down. I was trying everything. I had I had to put a radio. I had to put a CD player with a 10-hour track of thunderstorms just to distract the dogs so they think there's a storm and really bad outside, and that kind of helped them calm down. I have no idea why they calmed down with thunderstorms, but you know that's what I did. And it's really freaking annoying. And my heart goes out to any of those who served in the military. My heart goes out to you. I know that um, quite a few of my family members who served in the army, they said they don't like 4th of July because of the flashbacks they get from it. And my heart goes out to all of you guys who had to do that. But I'm really excited because according to the weather app that I have, it says there's supposed to have a lot of thunderstorms, so I'm excited because it means kind of some nice cool weather some of the flowers I planted I'm hoping will sprout and yes even though I have allergies to the point where I look like Will Smith off Hitched I still like flowers I can't help it it's like a very toxic kind of relationship it's like even though I know you're gonna make me sneeze and I'm gonna be coughing because I'm gonna already be coughing trying to get rid of all the pollen I still like it I have learned that I can succulents are good plants for me because I can take care of them Last time I'm normally forgetting to water my plants, they're the only plants I've managed to keep alive. I managed to keep 
an aloe vera plant for like four or five years alive until my cat decided to freaking eat it. And I was so mad. I was like, I, I spent good money on that. So I haven't got an aloe vera plant even though I really liked it because I would use it in facials or I'd use it with um, sunburns and stuff. So I'm trying to decide if I want the eyesight set up maybe a tad higher. So yeah, I hope y'all are doing amazing wherever you are maybe and I hope y'all are staying safe. I know that with this COVID it is terrifying because some places they have had any issues. Some people have had it okay. Some stores have they have to have masks. Some places don't. So I don't know. I don't know about anyone else. I absolutely have such the hardest time with drawing mouths because it's difficult for me because it's like I want to do that kind of flirty smile but I also it's kind of hard to do that I guess so I'm using my pillow that I have mushed up on my bed for reference <laughs> it's not really working because I have my cat my little cat on there who thinks it's her bed Mostly what I do when I draw these is I sketch out details like where do I want the hair, where do I want the general outline of the hair to fall at, and then I'll plant like if I want the pillow here, like do I want the folds to more curve in here due to the pillow being like scrunched up. and. You know, do I want, you know, do I want, like, tattoo design? Like, there's many different s stuff. Um, so I do want to let you know is that I have a TikTok where I upload quite a bit. I try to upload, like, two or three times. My goal is to have around 6,000 6, Kassoons members by the end of this year. That's been my goal. And so far, we're quite far from it, but I'm pretty proud of myself because if you know, I'm hoping that if we keep it up, we'll get there. I do want to say thank you to every one of my subscribers and stuff. It does mean a lot to me more than you know. I am trying to keep up uploading every week. Um, I'm trying my absolute best. Mostly what I do with these is I think, okay, so I plan the hair out, is that how I want it to be there? And one thing that I, I cannot say, one ways the one I think every artist should have is either a white pearl eraser, a kneaded eraser, because you can just knead it, and then it's basically have a brand new, brand new eraser, or one of these is made it. So here's how the sketch looks so far. Sorry guys, I am trying for the life of me. So I took the paper off of it because it kept getting on my nerves, but this is a white, white high palm eraser. I would highly recommend it because it is absolutely amazing. If you're wanting something that erases the ink really well and erases really well, I highly recommend that.
those are the supplies I normally use, and then I always use lead pencils, but, and then after I finish the hair, based off the welder with the hair to have long hair, short hair, normally I'll have a reference, and normally it's off a character, sorry, you guys, allergies, I'll find out off a model that I like off of maybe Pinterest or stuff like that, and then I'll go from there. I have learned that trying to sketch from real life does work a lot better than if I'm using reference. Um, so that, and then normally with the backgrounds, I am trying to get better at not doing just a plain background, like plain color. So I normally try to think, do I want maybe a window situation, and then I very badly sketch, and normally I'll use a ruler, but just for example, I'll normally think, okay, I'm going to put a window here, and then I'll normally think about maybe putting a shelf here, or maybe put like a painting I think would be a better idea. Oh, we'll do there. And this is basically how the sketch would look, and then I'll consider, okay, what, what do we want to use to better sketch it? Do I want to use crisp colored pencils? Do I want to use art sticks? Um, if you don't know what art sticks is, I did a reel on my, my Instagram. They are basically, here's what they are, are Prismacolors, just like the color part of it that you can use to, without the lead breaking. I know for me, personally, I've had a lot of issues with my lead breaking. And then when you use baby oil, this is, if you can see that, it creates a nice, it does kind of rub off a little bit, so I'd recommend you use a sealant. But that's basically what it does, it creates like a nice even sheen. And that's basically how it looks. If you use like the silver metallics, it creates that kind of color. But I thought that was pretty cool, but yeah. And then normally I will outline with microns. Normally in sizes 01 and 05. I usually use a 01 for the eyelashes or lower. And then I'll use a 05 for more. And then I'll use a 0.3 for like the uh, body and stuff. And then I'll think, okay, what do I want to put in my paintings? So I'm thinking I'm going to do a ledge part right here. And then I'll do a painting here. I'm not sure what I'll put in the painting. Oh no, something rustic about this I like. And then that's all I don't really do at the end. Sorry guys, my mic is messed up so I have to use this. And then I will probably do a part two later on, but thank you all for watching. This is just and as always like, comment, subscribe for more, and I can't wait to see you next week for this video.